Hey, good morning guys. I'm back here with another baby. This is Missy by Natalie Blick. I am so excited to show you guys this baby. I've been working on her for a long time, it feels like, and she's so different and probably one of the coolest babies I feel like that I've made in a long time. First of all, she's got this really cool scab on her nose and under her nose and just like a few little blemishes on her face. When I was making Missy in the beginning, I was going back and forth about what I wanted to do with her. I really kept thinking that I should, you know, just make a beautiful skin tone, no blemishes, nothing, you know, because I just thought that's what people wanted. But as I started painting more and getting into my head more, I just, I realized I wanted to do something different. I wanted to set my doll apart from everybody else's Missy. So she does have a little bit of, um, well, she had a little bit of a fall. So she has a, just a, you know, a little scab there. My beautiful niece, she fell on her face when she was uh, a little baby and she had a little scab on her nose for what seemed like forever so I thought this would be a good um, shout out to her also my daughter has had so many forehead injuries you guys she has so many scars on her forehead this is a uh, shout out to her as well so it's not so so noticeable that it's the first thing that you see when you look at the baby obviously I think it's the eyes it's the first thing that you see when you look at this baby but it's different she's just you know a, a rough and tumble baby and she's into everything and climbing on everything and uh, I wanted to portray that in this piece of artwork so she also has a an olive skin tone it's a little bit darker it's photographing pretty well in the light here you can go look at all the photos over on the website she has painted eyebrows she's got rooted eyelashes which took me a really really long time she has a few like that are just kind of sticking down I've just kind of been um, flipping them up with water um, but yeah it looks pretty good I had actually ordered different eyes for this baby but when they arrived yesterday it just made her look like she was staring off into space <laughs> like she was completely zoned out and uh, I would rather that the baby look like she's looking at you so I think that's these eyes are great also the socket in the back of the eye is pretty uh, deep so these eyes are well they're half round so they're not completely flat so they fit really well and of course she's got the painted hair here um, she's got a magnet for a hair bow and I did do some 3d texture here so there are lines I did with some thick medium and then I just ran the paintbrush um, through it and even a rooting needle. Uh, it's You can't really pick it up too much in the camera but uh, it's just a subtle little difference or a subtle little detail that um, I added. Here are little nails and then of course this little finger, it's so cute. She can do that whole like, well she can't because of the jean jacket, but there's limited, there's a lot of um, different expressions you can use with the her hands. Here's her feet. She's got really chunky thighs. Um, she's got um, really pretty skin tone that I worked on for a while. She has a little like rug burn on her uh, elbow that you guys can see. If you go look at the photos over on the website, I'm going to turn her around so you can see the back of her hair. She's about six pounds. I did make her head a little bit lighter than I normally would because I want her to be able to sit up when her head, I, I did, you know, experiment a few times with, uh, with weighting this doll and the heavier the head, um, it just, it, it just wasn't very realistic for this age of, of baby to have the head flipping back like that. So I did make it uh, lighter, the head lighter, so she can sit up if you wanted her to, which I like. So she is number, what is it, 636 of 999, and she is sold out. Um, I was able to get this baby. 
I was so happy. I was planning out for it. So anyway, she's really, really cute. She's got an open mouth, so she does take a modified pacifier that will be included. And she comes home in this beautiful dress that I got from my friend Deborah, and this awesome jean jacket. She looks so cool. <laughs> I love her. She really is so cute. She's just, I just love looking at her. Um, yeah, and she comes home with a few other outfits. Um, but yeah, all of her information, as usual, is over on the uh, website, pumpkinsparklesbabies.com. You can find the link in the description. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. I want to also thank um, my Patreons for your support and uh, just always uh, being there and being the first ones to look at my photos and um, even my work in progress photos. It's just fun to have somebody to show and get feedback on. So, um, yeah. If you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon, the link is also in the description. It's just $5 a month and you can cancel at any time. And it really, really helps my small business and uh, me as an artist. So um, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you guys in my next video.